Good morning guys, welcome back to another college week in my life. This week is going to look a little different. As you guys know, I am a senior fashion merchandising student at Kent State University studying abroad in Florence. And this week we are going on a trip to Venice with our school. So it is Tuesday morning, six o'clock, and we are getting ready to leave for the train station. We are leaving at 7 a.m. for Venice and we will be there through Thursday night. So just gonna be a short and sweet week in my life for you guys. Show you what I am wearing today. We are going to be doing like a bunch of different walking tours and then we're visiting a couple of different factories I believe while we're there. And we have lots of free time to explore. So I've got some fun outfits packed. We are asking for recommendations on Instagram for like different places to eat and things to see. So we're excited. Um, my dress is from Saltwater Luxe which is like a small California boutique and then I've got my gold lace up sandals on from Express, jewelry's from Goriana, I'm bringing my little crossbody from Pauline and then guys I am attempting to put all of this week's stuff, toiletries, like five outfits worth of clothing, my computer, my chargers, all into my long champ. I've had this bag since my 16th birthday and I swear to God, I've used it for literally anything and everything you could think of. So bringing her with and that's it. A light packer this time around. But yeah, getting ready to leave. Should be fun. Lauren, are you so excited? So excited. Okay, squad's rolling out. It feels like we just did this yesterday to get to Croatia. Oh wait, that's because we did. <laughs> One day ago. <laughs> but um, we're taking a train today, not a bus. So, here we go. After a very productive bus ride that I train ride that I edited three videos on. You know what? I drank a whole Red Bull before that ride and I still slept, fell asleep for an hour and a half. I'm kinda mad. What else did you have to do? I don't know, I shouldn't save my Red Bull then. Passion program is here, so there's quite a few of us, like almost a hundred of us, I think. And we are walking over to our water taxi now. It's so different than I expected here. Very bright, colorful, pretty. All right, we're walking over to our water taxi now. Voice over Mackenzie popping in for a couple of these clips because I just had a lot of b-roll from this trip. Here we are taking a water taxi. I knew that Venice was surrounded by water, but I had no idea that they had zero cars. So this is like their main form of transportation to and from. Here we are water taxiing over to our hostel. All right, checking in. We're staying in a hostel with our school. We made it. This is supposedly a hostel, but it's really more like a hotel. And it honestly looks like a school inside. But all of these um, brown doors are actually rooms. And then this is what the view looks like. Unfortunately for our like hostel stay, we weren't able to choose our roommates. We had to just go in alphabetical order, but Olivia's room is right next to mine and we just checked in and this is what they look like. Two little twin beds side by side. Do you think this is a window? Yes, it is a window. Mm, I don't know how to get it. 
Well, I don't know how to open the window, but there is two. It's actually very, very nice for a hostel. It's more like a hotel because we have our own bathroom and things like that. We're not actually roommates, but I'm locked out of my room. So here's what Olivia's looks like. All right, Olivia and I are in the same group today, which is extremely convenient. Poor Lauren just missed the cutoff. She was the last person in group one, um, and we're in group two. But we are off. We've got several different like walking tours and visits today. So that's what we're up to. Um, hold on, hold on. I got our itinerary pulling up. We are going to Plaza something. Plaza Monsignor Santa Croce, 1992. So here we go. At this point, it was about 9 a.m. and we had a 40 minute walk to our first stop of the day. Our school had already like pre-scheduled these different museum visits and tours and things like that. This was our first stop and this was actually a palace. We learned so much about Venice's history on this tour and it was really cool just to hear about all the families that were involved in this palace itself. This is what a typical marble floor looks like in Venice. All of the buildings here are built on clay. So the ceilings look like this to maintain elasticity of the ground. And then all of the fabric on the walls are original to the 17th century. It was very common to have fabric on the walls instead of paint, which kind of makes you wonder why we ever switched. Venice is known for its perfume and for its lace making, so we were able to see a bunch of old bottles and get some demonstrations on how different scents are curated and where those smells come from. We wrapped up our first tour. We learned about perfume and was it a palace? What was it, guys? I think it was a palace. And we think it was a palace, and some of the things belong to the city of Venice. Um, I tried to include some clips, but anyways, we just were set free. We have two hours of a lunch break, so we just wandered and we just picked a random place on the side of the road that had a um, pizza. And we think we're gonna split this. Our like tour guide told us that they're known for their fried seafood here, the calamari and things like that. So we're gonna do that. And then one of us is gonna get a pizza. And then we're also gonna get the gnocchi and we're gonna split it three ways just to try everything. And we have a new character, this is Sarah. Hi. <laughs> All right, here's what we got. We had a couple options for the gnocchi and we got just the meat sauce. And then he gave us spicy. Salami. Salami? Which I it looks like pepperoni. I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna rate lunch a four. It wasn't bad, it just, we've had so many better meals in Italy, and it wasn't the most authentic, so a little bummed, but anyways, Olivia is going to get a sweet treat now, so, yay! What are you gonna get? Probably where are they? They're like baby ones. I don't know if I want that one coming with chocolate, though. I like that chocolate. That one's like pistachio. It was your sweet treat. It was great. Thanks for asking. And your lunch? Okay. What did you okay. give it? I gave it. Okay, My pizza is more like a pie. I'd say it was more of a pie. Alright, well, we're ready for our next tour. This is a fabrication factory, I believe. Um, the shape of the of the dress is totally different. They have a very, very, very big skirt because in this way you have to use a lot of fabric, and if you use a lot of fabric, you are rich. And so you show your richness using the the fashion, um, and was also a way um, to to say. Uh, look how powerful I am. 
This was by far my favorite part of our school trip. This lace dress has three different pieces to it and as you can hear him saying, the bigger the dress, the more money someone had. This piece alone, just for the materials to hand make, cost about $27,000. Then they took us into a room where we could see a bunch of original fabric to the 17th century and this building itself has done a lot of cool projects. This blue fabric was something they recently did for all Tiffany & Co's across the world and then they have also done the fabric for some Emmy winners Marie Antoinette and more wrapping up our last stop of the day this is actually an old building that is like a department store now all designer very very cool um, and so many brands huge floor of just perfume since that's what Venice is known for so we're just getting the full tour now lots and lots and lots and lots of steps here if you come to Venice make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes and there's no chairs anywhere so we've been standing like all day so just a heads up your Apple watch will be happy if you come here <laughs> Olivia's feeling after 15,000 steps today and no chairs standing there. <laughs> if you had an Apple Watch on, your stand would be like 24 hours right now. Yeah, who has a watch on right now? So as much as we bitched and moaned about waiting in line, the view is really fantastic yeah. <laughs> up here. And we just took some really cute pictures. Finally, the sun was going down, golden hour. Actually, amazing photos. Yeah. So we can't be mad. The only photos we got today, I'll insert them here. Um, but this is where we are. You can really see the whole city of Venice up here. It's kind of insane, actually. What is the name of the building we're at right now? I don't know. What's the name? Slower? <laughs> the name of the building is Funoko of, of the Deski. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go get some dinner. We're gonna meet Lauren and we're gonna have a fun night. I don't know where we are. It's the closest place to home. And we just got pasta. I got gnocchi with pesto and tomatoes and shrimp. And Lauren got carbonara. And Olivia got, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna do a little splitsies moment. All right, super long day. Dinner was very good. My pesto gnocchi was amazing. I'd give it a nine. The shrimp was super fresh, really delicious. We just walked back home. Everyone went to their separate rooms. Unfortunately, we're not rooming together. We all have random roommates while we're here since we're in alphabetical order. Um, my roommate is still at dinner, so it's just me right now. And yeah, just showered, put my retainer in, took off my shoes we literally walked 10 miles today my feet are killing me i cannot wait to go to bed we had like a 5 a.m wake up call this morning so going to sleep nice and good tonight it's been a fun day catch you guys tomorrow for day number two good morning guys lauren and i are up and at them we just tried to get some pictures <laughs> and try. the key word there is try they weren't terrible but they certainly weren't anything groundbreaking as you can see from my camera right now, the lighting is very soft and terrible right now and um, it's incredibly humid out right now. So I just spent 20 minutes curling my hair and only for it to look like this. But anyways, we're headed back now. I'm not gonna wear this to class today, so I'm gonna change and we're gonna grab some breakfast. And then we're gonna head out for hopefully another 22,000 steps today. <laughs> All right, just got back to the hostel room and I just changed into this little baby doll dress from Shein. Super cute little floral moment is what I'm gonna wear. And I think Miss Olivia is here and she's wearing my little Princess Polly dress. Cute. All right, let's roll. Hostel breakfast, we'll let you know how it is. Lauren's got like fake Nutella spread going on. <laughs> Oh, 
so we can, we're off to stop number one. We're going to a mask painter. The entire time people were telling me about this yesterday, I thought they said like mask. Like I got saying to her like M-A-S-S, -S, like yeah. <laughs> Until she said something about carnival and painting masks. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Lauren! Venice has tons of history specifically related to the carnival, which is a huge celebration where people wear these masks in disguise. We got a whole explanation on it. One of the best known mask workshops in Venice. We are known because uh, in time we have been working with uh, uh, theaters, directors, probably the most famous one, uh, and Stanley Kubrick for us. So I can work uh, with uh, bigger pieces of paper. So this part of the work can be rather quick, let's say, okay, because I don't have details. Uh, when I get I got closer to a smaller detail like the eyes and so on, I will need to start working with smaller pieces. Okay, let's get close to the eyes just to give you the idea and then I like the, <coughs> the finished one to show you, but it's just to give you the idea. Okay. I'll look. Here we are. I get close to the eyes. Smaller pieces. Consider, for every plague wave, the city would lose one third of the population. So Sorry, not the plague. Plague. Ah, ah, the ah, okay. okay. La peste. Okay. The, the, the city would lose one third of the population, so a lot of people would die because of it. Okay, so the place where the masks are just made, they are sold in this little store, so we get to explore it, and you could buy one if you wanted. <laughs> and it doesn't go with my outfit. Okay, they've done so many masks for like famous people in movies and stuff, and they did the masks in 50 shades of gray. Yeah, so cool. Petition for Kapasig to have a masquerade day party on December 15th when we arrive home. Yeah, so that we can wear these. We made it to the city center. I'm sure we're making you dizzy with all of the uh, back and forth footage, <laughs> but there's just a lot of pretty things around us. We're in the city center right now, and we were just set free for lunch. We have like two and a half hours before our next appointment, so we are attempting to get on the gondola and we're gonna eat something for lunch, so. We'll let you know if we're successful. Yay, we're doing our gondola ride! <laughs> we just like picked a random spot that seemed a little less touristy. But if you look up, there's tons of people all of a sudden. Look how pretty it is over this way. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so beautiful. It's like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Glamorous walk on and off. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye. Fell for a tourist trap for lunch. Lauren's really upset about it. <laughs> but we get a view of them making the pizza, so at least we know it's fresh. Our little tourist trappy lunch, but they split it up for us. Our pizza certainly could have been better, but it could have been worse too, for 10 euros a person. Anyways, we're doing a little bit of shopping because we've got some time to kill. Stopping for our sweet treat of the day. We didn't get any yesterday. I got cookies and cream and salted caramel and you got tiramisu. Mm. Okay, we've made it to our last stop and this is like a museum with tons of different exhibits from different countries, so very cool. 
and it's a guided tour so they take us to each country to see. so exhausted at this point we had basically been doing these school tours from like 9 a.m to 6 37 p.m both days but we rallied for this last little stop we actually knew nothing about this before we got here and it turns out that this is a very big deal so basically a bunch of different countries are assigned a different theme and they then commission an artist to create an exhibit for this it's not really a museum, but you get the gist. So this is actually the one from the United States and this was the winner. And it was so cool up close. So many different like themes and just cultural experiences here. Definitely something that I wouldn't have done if I came to Venice on my own. So I'm really glad that we were able to see and experience this with the school. Our professors ended up getting all of us on a water taxi home, thank God, so we didn't have to walk the final two miles. But very cool art exhibit. It's definitely been a long day. We've done another 20,000 steps already and we haven't even made it out to dinner. So um, definitely full packed, busy days here in Venice if you're planning on coming. But um, yeah, I just came back and refreshed a little bit, charged up my phone and changed. We're headed off to dinner. I'm wearing the cutest little white ruffle top from Opali. I love this. And then I've got on just like tan jeans from Express. I changed into my my little white Franco Sarto sandals. Definitely hot here, even in the middle of September. And we're getting out of here. Gonna put some earrings on, add a little bit of lip gloss, and I'm so excited to eat, I'm starving. approved restaurant that we're at right now. Cheers. We've come to the most amazing restaurant. I took his recommendation and got buffalo pizza, buffalo mozzarella pizza, which is what I wanted for lunch. I'm really hoping this redeems itself. And Lauren got uh, spinach ricotta, fabulous. It looks good. And then Liv got the chicken and potatoes. We very rarely see chicken here, so I'm really curious how it's gonna be. Good. It's like rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Guys, comment, are you supposed to sip on limoncello or chug it? Either way, uh, cheers. Like deep cheers. <laughs> cheers. We get the boo. Post dinner check. Um, okay, I really loved the atmosphere of this place better than anywhere else we've been. Like, honestly, this whole trip, I would give the atmosphere a 10. And just like, I don't know, it felt like more of a relaxing dinner rather than like being in a rush the way that I have a tip for them. My tip is, if you see a cutesy little place with like outside seats, most likely you need a reservation for those seats. So then you go there because it's cute, but then you're put inside. But this place, you were put at an inside garden. And my tip is to manifest your life. As Jewel says, she always seems to get lucky with the inside seating and I was like, I just am trusting that we're gonna be put at a chic spot inside and we were. So anyways, all right, atmosphere 10. I'm gonna give my food an eight and a half. My pizza was really good. All I want is a piece of chicken. Like I've been craving chicken all week because I haven't been eating meat. But the pizza, I trusted his recommendation and it didn't disappoint. Lauren? Ravioli? I'll give it a seven. Okay. It's good. But your atmosphere? Atmosphere is a ten. I love it. All right, Olivia. Um, I agree. chicken and potatoes. Um, atmosphere ten. Chicken and potatoes. I would probably like the potatoes were really good, but probably like a six overall, which is oh. Oh, like it tastes like rotisserie Whoa. chicken. Like I might with well, the glass of wine. I might as well have gotten it at Costco, but <laughs> I, I know I needed like a good piece of meat. Like no, not good so piece. But I, I needed the protein. I almost got the chicken and potatoes because I agreed. Like chicken and potatoes sounded good, and then I was like, I just know that this is gonna be like kind of the American yeah, option, and I just knew it wasn't gonna be that good. So it I was like, wasn't, but like I knew I needed the protein. Yeah. Like, I, 
we st and people are right like there is meat here but like prosciutto and um, mussels and like it's just like it's not what we're used to you know and like yeah. I'm realizing that we in America eat a lot of meat yeah a lot of meat. and like, like I like meat. seafood but I'm not a fish girl if I eat fish I like it raw like in like sushi so anyways but it was good good vibes we're headed home guys it's day three in Venice and our last day um, I'm sad about it because I like Venice but my feet are like so happy yeah <laughs> um, we just checked out of our hostel we're going downstairs to eat breakfast here's my outfit of the day for my final day this little set is from a brand called Ebby which if you've watched modern family Gloria this is her line um, and then I've got the same sandals and I'm wearing this little scarf in my hair from Shein and Liv dress Dillard's and then her Asics. Um, someone commented about these and specifically asked what Liv's shoes are. We're gonna find the name and I'll leave them linked down below. But all right, um, Asics Japan SPF. <laughs> We're gonna go find Lauren and get some eating. I will say this hostel is very nice. It's like pretty much just a hotel. Olivia and I are a two croissant for breakfast kind of team. They have this spread, it's like not Nutella, but it's like kind of like it. Hazelnut, I guess, is from Europe, so there's a lot of it like everywhere. Chocolate hazelnut. But um, I enjoy croissants for breakfast, but I'm usually not a sweet person in the morning. I usually like eggs and bacon. And that has to be one of the things I miss most about America. <laughs> it's just the eggs and bacon. and we've got about an hour ride over to our first and only stop today which is the lace making factory and I'm editing my pictures using the Tezza app from yesterday and Olivia just taught me the coolest most life-changing hat so I was really bummed that this sky looks so dull and watch guys okay so now we're gonna make the sky more blue you're gonna go into HSL and then if you want the sky to be more blue, you tap the blue. So, yeah, and then you can change the saturation, the hue, and then the luminance. <gasps> like, look at that. I don't know if you can really see on the phone. There. But it's so different. That? Like, look at this. <gasps> Mind blown. And, like, look, you can go like this, and we can make McKinsey, like, super orange. Or like super not orange. This is, you're the best. I can't believe this. Look at how cute it is. We just got off the water taxi and are getting ready to go to our first little stop. Like every house is colored, so fun. There are so many amazing pieces here, but things are very expensive obviously since they're handmade But I found these little bookmarks and I thought that they would make really great gifts for both my grandmas And then I got one for myself too. They were five euros each which I thought was a great price I'm usually not like much of a souvenir girl, but I really love it here on this island. So Super cute. so our visit at the lace factory was supposed to go until noon and it ended up taking like 20 minutes so we were able to look around I bought the bookmarks and now we have like an hour and 40 minutes to explore I'm really excited there's a lot of cute little shops here and the scenery is beautiful so we're gonna try to grab some photos if we come up with something cute I'll leave it here but There are like so many things I wish I could buy, but it's like, how do you get it home? Keeping up with my postcard tradition. One year ago, I just got one. It's so early, but I have to get a cannoli. Lemon? Pistachio. Okay, I got two cannolis. This is my first one here. Lemon? 
She said that the cannolis aren't very good here. She wanted you to try the other. Oh, I like the lemon. All right, an impulsive big girl purchase. These are like handmade crochet bags that you can only get here on this island and at one shop in Paris. So these are handmade and then on the inside it's lined. So this is actually waterproof and then these are bamboo straps. And I have been on the hunt, if you guys watch my California vlogs, for a bag like this, a good beach bag, since I moved to California. And something about me just kind of feels like this is the place to get it. I don't know. I just like went back and forth a hundred times, but Lauren has convinced me to do it. And I, you don't have to wrap it. I'm, I'm gonna wear it out. Do you want to? Yep. Okay. What is the name of this store? The name of this store? Uh, La Dama. La Dama. So cute. So I just spent quite literally 30 minutes going back and forth between what color to get. I really liked the yellow with purple. My mom said blue. The other woman said something else. And Lauren goes, you're going to get the yellow. Because Lauren, Lauren it was with me. Like when we met, yellow was like my literal trademark. <laughs> and she goes, you're never going to regret that. And you'll never forget it. So this is a bag that will stay in like the costume bin for my great grandkid. <laughs> you know? Um, it was 330 euros originally and she was able to give it to me for 280 so still a very big purchase but I don't know Lauren, Lauren told me it's sentimental Lauren really is a bad influence <laughs> well if I don't have money to spend I make other people spend money <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna start using it to class. We're gonna, I like it, guys. Hi, you guys. I just impulsively bought this tote from the cutest Italian woman ever. We're in this colorful town, and I'm obsessed. Tell me that you think it's adorable so that I feel better about spending more dollars. But you're only in Italy once. Ciao. Hi, we made it back to Venice, and so we're eating one last meal. We've got a little bit of time to kill before we go. Um, Lauren and I got Brie, and Prosciutto. Prosciutto and we have like different breads so I'm interested to see. Our lunch was average but they're making up for it by buying a bag too. Theirs was only eight euros <laughs> but uh very cute. Venetian spritz. Yeah. Um, Lauren got the same one. I'd get one but I already got a bag today. <laughs> one is enough. So cute. 5 30 p.m. we walked over to our water taxi water taxied to the train station and then took an hour and 45 minute train ride back to florence long travel days here in europe but so worth it to wear an ffp the journey <laughs> all right guys after a long travel day home water taxi to train train to 30 minute walk 30 minute walk to shower and put on pajamas We've made it back. It was a successful week in Venice. Overall, I really liked this city. I thought that it was very similar to Venice, but prettier, and I really enjoyed having water there. And then, I, I do, I like the food better in Florence by a long shot, but anyways, all right, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button, stick around. We are off to Germany in my next video, my next vlog, so stay tuned, join the fun. Love you.